You know, um, very often with the young leaders I work with, we talk about, we spend a lot of time on team meetings and what team meetings are for and how often should they happen. And very often they feel like they're inconveniencing their team or whatever it may be. But sometimes by breaking the ice, it doesn't have to be every meeting, but every second or third meeting, you can start the meeting by saying, hey guys, um, let's share our mistakes this week. Mine, mine are X, Y, Z. And you're opening up. So as a leader, you just, you, you start realizing that do you have the opportunity to change someone's life as a leader? Yeah. Good or bad. And if you're a good leader, you can really set someone up for the rest of their life. And that's what I always say is aim for that 20 years from now, someone's going to say, Man, if it wasn't for Clayton back in 2001, I wouldn't be where I am today. You'll never know if that happens. Yeah. But aim for that. And when you, when, you know, when they start realizing that they, that great leaders inspire other people to do great things, I can do that. It becomes very rewarding and very satisfying for them. There's a much bigger purpose. And then you see them doing things that they weren't have ordinarily done before because they feel free of, of it. They, the shackles are off and they feel like, they can do it because if they make mistakes, they were trying something new or they were trying their intentions or not for that to happen. So it's nice. I, there's so many positives to take from the conversation and so many, so many things for people to go and digest. 